You ever look like this after a fight? Don't panic, this is what the video is for. If you want to support me and my channel, click all the links in the description. Today's sponsor is Opera GX, a web browser made for gamers, so that's what they told me. Probably because it has RGB and the GX corner which lets you in on the latest and greatest upcoming releases for free and paid games. But in reality, this is the most feature-packed web browser on the market while being the lightest on resources. Just look at the sidebar, not only can you do your normal browsing, you also have app integration. I have WhatsApp, IG, Discord all in one window and so convenient, but you may be wondering what's the point when WhatsApp and Discord have standalone Windows apps? It's simple, RAM usage. We all know Tarkov is a huge RAM hog and you start getting frame drops below 16GB of system memory, so you can't have anything open in the background. Well GX Control is a game changer. With a memory limiter, you can have a browser open in all of your favorite apps without frame drops in game. Just look at my task manager and compare my memory usage. There's also a CPU and network limiter if desired. Sounds enticing? Switching over is just one click of a button. What are you waiting for? Your current browser is only good for downloading the installer to Opera GX. Opera GX can also be had on iOS and Android, all links will be in the description. Healing seems complicated in Tarkov, but it's actually really simple. You'll die when your head or thorax blacks out in the fight, so prioritize healing them first. Everything else is just a health pool cushion. I'll go deeper in a bit. So you have all these healing items, which ones should you take into raid? For health, Salo and Grizzlies are tier 1. Card Mechids and Cheese are tier 2. Ifax and Afax just shouldn't even bother. The rate which to heal at is too low. Let's say you're wearing level 4 armor and you get hit by M80. After damage reduction, it'll do about 75 damage to your thorax. Within 3 seconds of healing, with Ifax and Afax, M80 is still a 1 hit kill. With Salo and Grizzlies, one button press will top up your thorax and maintain 2 hits to kill. Cars and Cheese, you'll need an extra tick of healing with a second button press, but you can cancel the rest of the healing animation. With Ifax and Afax, you'll need at least 5 seconds with animation cancelling to top yourself off. 2 seconds is huge in a fight. Same thing can be applied with 3 hit kill rounds like 545 and 556. A healing item can be a difference between dying in 2 hits rather than 3 hits. For light bleeds, take Car, Salo, and Grizzly over bandages if you have them unlocked. To heal the bleed and the health pool at the same time, and the cost of healing a light bleed is so low you'll have enough points to heal the rest of the damage in your other parts. With bandages, you'll have to use 2 different items which means 2 different animations. Heavy bleeds is a different story. Because the point cost of health kits is so high, take the tourniquets instead. Hemostat over Cat over S March. If you're using Cat or S March, bring 3 into raid. There's a reason why Hemostat is 3 out of 3. For early game, I prefer Cat because the use time is lower than S March and you buy it with the USD, which helps level up Peacekeeper. With Fractures, if you're bringing a Grizzly, don't bring Splints. If you're bringing a Surf Kit over a CMS, then Splints are optional. A lot of people prefer using Splints because they're a lot faster. But personally, 4 slots in my gamma is too much. I either bring CMS and Alice Splint or Surf Kit and a regular normal Splint in my Rigger bag. For Black Limb, CMS or Surf doesn't really matter, but with CMS, make sure you bring Splints too. Surf fixes the Black Limbs along with Fractures, but it takes longer than CMS. For Painkillers, they all have different debuffs and effects, but the difference between them are mostly just duration. Anything else feels negligible. I prefer Golden Star and Ibuprofen because I can leave them at 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 15 and use them to craft Propitals. Make sure you take one when you're about to do something dangerous like head into a hot zone or run in the open. The entire next part is assumed you're already painkilled. Okay, moving on to actually healing your body. Generally, when it comes to bleeds, prioritize heavy bleeding over light. Not only does it chunk more HP per tick, but because heavy bleeding needs a separate item, a lot of the time you end up healing over your light bleeds while you're topping off limb health anyway. Now this only applies if you have a decent pool of health for your head and thorax. If your body is dark red, your bleeding might cause your head or thorax to black out. Heal them first. Tap into your health menu and drag and drop your healing item onto your head and thorax. Do not right click use or hit a hotkey, this prioritizes bleeding parts. If a bleed blacks your thorax or head, you'll still be alive, but any damage tick to a zeroed head or thorax, whether a direct hit or damage bleed over from people shooting your black limbs, will kill you. So prioritize thorax first because your thorax has a larger health pool, and one shot to your head will kill you anyway, so it doesn't really matter if your head is 0 or 35. However, most of the time, you don't have to sacrifice one. You can juggle healing your thorax a little, then your head a little. But dragging and dropping your healing item, closing your menu, Letting it heal a bit, then cancelling it with double click. 
Pop your menu back up to heal the other body part. Rinse, repeat. If your head blacks, just insurance fraud your helmet. Even a ricochet does 1 HP and you will die. This applies to armor too. Any blunt damage will kill you anyway. Dropping your gear is good not only because your opponent has to look for it after you die, but also because you lose all negative effects like ergo loss, movement speed loss, and turn speed loss when you're not wearing them. When topping off your HP, watch your guy in the top left corner. Once the color looks like it's full, you can cancel the rest of the animation by left clicking. Once you've fixed all your bleeds and topped off your thorax and head, move on to black limbs. You don't want to fix your limbs before your bleeds because after surgery your limb HP is 1, so if you have a bleed, it'll just black out again. If you're in a position to run away, flank, or reposition, fix your legs first because sprinting on black legs will damage your other body parts. Then fix your right arm, left arm, and your stomach last. If you're trapped in a position where you can't escape, fix your right arm first. Your PMC is right-handed and holds his weapon with his right hand. Having a blacked or fractured right arm actually slows down your ADS speeds. Stomach is always last. Yes, I understand stomach takes 1.5 times more damage and this damage is spread through the rest of your body when it's blacked. But in a game like Tarkov, when you can kill with a single headshot or two thorax shots, you should always prioritize having an advantage in a fight. HP is a resource and as long as it's at 1, you can still win. Fractures are least important, heal them last. If you're using a surf kit, you'll probably heal over your fracture along with your limb anyway. It's just a minor nuisance that can be temporarily taken care of with a painkiller. Like the video if it helped, leave a comment if you think I missed anything, subscribe for more guides and gun builds. I stream sometimes on Twitch, link them in the description along with Opera GX. Thanks for watching.